Today we're going to talk about um, how lucerne is used on this farm. So I'm just going to get Tyler Good to introduce himself and tell us a little bit about his background and um, where he's come from and what he does on, on this property. Thanks Derek. Um, hey, so I've um, been at Williston for uh, seven years now. Um, I started as a, a junior shepherd and, um, and have been lucky enough to uh, progress through um, a few roles and have now just taken on a uh, um, new role recently as uh, the finishing manager. And um, we've been measuring the lucerne on this property and over the time we've been here I think the area has increased from about five hectares to now over 350 hectares of lucerne. So that must, that's made quite a change to the production profile here. How do you use the lucerne on this farm? Um, so we do uh, finish our lambs and um, and our hoggets, um, lamb our hoggets on it. Um, we also uh, do a little bit of baleage as well off it when needed. Okay, um, so a lot of this lucerne is on hill country. Some of this area might not be so easy to make baleage out of. Yep. But you said you use it for hoggets. So tell us a little bit about that. When do you... When do you mate your hoggets and, and when are they lambing? So they're mated in the uh, first week of May um, where our target is to have them at 50 kilos um, when the ram goes out. Uh, this year they were about uh, between 52 and 53 kilo average um, which we're very happy with um, due to having a uh, very good summer. Or, um, and then so they're uh, mated for two cycles um, and then uh, they're um, taken through um, through the winter and then uh, set stocked on um, on the lucerne. So we set stock them um, literally uh, just after their pre-lamb um, animal health, and um, they're set stocked literally as they um, start uh, lambing. So Tyler, I've told you that lucerne should be rotationally grazed, but you're telling me you're set stocking your hoggets on your lucerne. So tell me about that. What does it look like when you set stocking on it? Um, so we're aiming for at least um, uh, uh, 2,500 uh, cover. So that's yep. what, 20, 25 centimetres yep, tall? 25 centimetres. And uh, this year, as you can see, uh, we had a really good start to the um, spring uh, and late winter. And um, we're, we're probably looking a bit higher than that at the moment. So, so they're coming on to 25, 30 centimetres of lucerne yep. to be set stocked for lambing. Yep. What about two weeks before? Uh, no, literally um, as a couple started, of days. Yep. Couple of days yep. before lambing. Yep. And then, um, what sort of stocking rate are they at? Um, so we stock uh, the uh, hill country here at uh, twelve to thirteen uh, hoggets to the heat year. Okay. Um, yep. And yeah. yeah. So I might have told people to lightly set stock their lucerne, but that would be when it's you know less than ten centimetres tall. So you're letting the cover build, yep. and then lambing directly onto them. So then you essentially stay away from them through that lambing period? Yep, yep, we, um, we let them do their thing. Uh, we try not to intervene if we don't have to. Um, and yeah, we, f we find if we, um, you know, the, the, they have enough cover there that if there is any, anything, any um, bad weather or anything that comes through, they're able to actually use the lucerne itself as cover as well for the wee lambs and stuff, so um, it works really well. So how many hoggets are we talking about that we're lambing on the lucerne? Uh, so we have, uh, this year there's 3,000. So you've got 3,000 stocked at 12 ewes yep. or 12 hoggets, hoggets. plus their lambs per yep. hectare and then they're on here and you leave them for how long? Uh, so we leave them obviously till they um, finish lambing um, and then it's, uh, we just have to play it, um, play it by ear and, um, and, and we will and start boxing them up and so we kind of semi start ro making a wee rotation. Yep. So that might be what, six weeks after yep. the start? Yep. So yep. about that period of time yep. you'll start boxing them up. So we've got a um, pretty good idea of, of how you um, essentially do nothing yeah. to yep. them for about six weeks yep. and, and just let them lamb. That's great. Yep. Thank you.